Okay, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate how I give Ellie piggies or pigtails. I have this really pretty pair of bows that I received yesterday from DougieBowties.com and we're very excited to model them today. So I have her. Um, she's resting comfortably on her chin pillow. And it's early in the morning, so she's still kind of tired, which is a great time if you want to practice grooming your dog and acclimating them to the process. When they're tired, it's a really good time to do it. I just missed her with a little bit of water, so I'm not brushing her dry. And I brush all the hair away from her face. I usually brush out the hair on the ears because what you want to work with is the hair in between the ears. You don't want to make the mistake of tying the ears up or catching the ear hair. Okay. So for pigtails, it's almost the same process as making a ponytail or a top knot. Um, I'm going to use the pointy end of my tail teaser comb. Oh, here's a really good shot of the spacing on the tail teaser comb. I'm going to use the pointy end to define a line straight up in the middle of her head. And then I just brush the parts to the side up and part it. And it's just a little bit of water in the back. And also, if you wet the hair a little bit, it's easier to see what you're doing. So, I judge my distance by the white spot because it's like almost halfway up her little noggin. And I'm going to use my pointy end to lift up some of this hair. Now, the section that I want goes from the outer eyelid in a little curve around to clear the ear hair. And I'm just going to brush this straight back like I were making my first section for a top knot. Okay, I'm going to band it and leave a little bit of room right at the base so it's not too tight. And with her, I banded about three times. Um, they're quarter inch bands because she's very tiny. But you can judge depending on the thickness of your dog's hair. Okay. And now she has a piece of her piggy. I used the first one to line up on the other side. making sure that I clear the ear hair. And I brush that back like I were making a regular top knot. And I band it, <clears throat> I wanna say quarter inch off of her scalp so it's not too tight. Okay. Now Miss Ellie's really ticklish in the head, so sometimes the piggies with her take a little bit of time, but today she's being a very good girl. Okay. See? There's the start of our piggies. So I want to get my Piggy bows.
and put them on top of the suction. Um, you have to check the bands in the back, especially for piggies, um, because they won't lie flat if your bands are twisted, especially for Ellie who doesn't really have a lot of hair. This is especially important because a lot of times, okay, good girl, her piggies are crooked because the bands don't lie flat. And I use the pointy end of my <clears throat> tail teaser to straighten out the bands. I'm really starting to love these bows. Okay. I'll put on the second bow, which that was a clear shot. Those bands are straight. And like you can see, I'm going to have to try this one again because it kind of didn't look like it laid flat. There we go. That's on. It's nice. Okay. It's really important for them to lie flat. Um, you know, the piggies are supposed to... I always end up with antenna, which you'll see when I'm finished, but her piggies always wind up hanging out straight up. Like, she put her finger in a socket, but <clears throat> and sometimes she gets an antenna effect. Um, but it's just because she's got a little head and not that much hair. Either way, she looks really cute. Okay. So. Okay, so we'll turn her sideways so we can see a little bit better. Um, but since I already have made a part down the middle of her head, it's easy for me to come and join the two sections. So pretty much that's what you want. If you can see from section one to section two, it makes a straight line. So I gather everything together. And I take my band. I use my fingers to push the bow on top of her head a little bit so I can completely band it against the first band so you don't see a separation in here um, so if you can see it here the first band and the second band are completely together so this is what helps my bows not to slide around on her head um, I've seen other methods where if you have a dog with a little bit more hair, the bows will slide around on the piggy a little bit. But this is pretty much how I've learned to make piggies. And there you go. There she has a piggy. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I use my part that I've already made to line up for my, as a guide for my section. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm moving the grooming mat around a little bit so I can give you a better angle. And she decided she wanted to be big and bad and fluff off for us. Okay. So there you go. We've got a straight line from section one to section two. I have no ear, ear hairs. And now it's time to band it. So, which coming from the back, I push my bows down against the head a little bit. 
and I placed this band directly against the first one. Okay, I usually pull them apart a little bit so she doesn't bubble up in the middle. Good girl. There she is. Okay, relax. Easy. Good girl. So here you go. Here are our piggies. And they're not too tight. And they look really cute. And when our hair dries a little, they will definitely stand up like antenna. Um, but we hope that you were able to get a clear shot and have an understanding. And Miss Lizzie is pretty being pretty demanding for her breakfast. So we'll see you later. Bye.